Hi, this is Tony from Humble Family. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be camouflaging an ammo box to use as a geocache here in Northern California. We have a small uh, ammo box today and what we've done is we basically, once we got it from the Army Surplus Store, which you can get these for around $10, um, pretty much uh, any uh, Army, Navy, military surplus store will have these um, all different sizes. This one here, just a smaller one, like I said, what we're going to do is we've, we've taken it and we've sanded it down, we've given it a good, good sanding and gotten as smooth as we can get it. And what we're going to do next is we're going to throw a coat of olive drab paint on it. Basically it's the ultra flat um, paint. What you want to use is ultra flat. We're using the camouflage, um, I guess brand, not brand, but the camouflage style. Um, super ultra flat, doesn't reflect, um, great, great for uh, camouflage. What we're going to do is we're going to hit this box, entirely this box with the, with the olive green drab, then we're going to come back and we're going to do some camouflage into it. And if you don't know, this box is going to open it up, the top will slide right off. The hinges come apart and the top comes right off. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it and hang the top, spray paint that, and then we're going to go ahead spray paint the box. And we'll be back with you shortly and then we'll get into some camouflage. Hi folks and we're back. Uh, what we're going to do is I wanted to remind you that uh, do not do any of this spray painting indoors. Make sure you do it outside. Um, plenty of ventilation, uh, gloves, mask, whatever you need. Don't do it inside. It's um, Unless you have proper ventilation or fans and things like that and you feel safe doing that. Um, what I'm going to show you now is a larger ammo box that we finished last week um, that we're going to be putting out real soon here uh, in a Redwood Forest. Um, we're going to be using this as a cache of caches. It's a larger ammo box than the one we had before. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill it full of cache containers, smaller containers, and um, such as, here's a couple here, such as ones this size, and there's even a pin cache that we made. has a log book in there. There it is. Anyway, um, we're going to put caches like this inside of here, the containers anyway, inside of here with log books and all. And then when uh, our fellow geocachers find this, find this box here, then they can take one of these, go hide it, register it on geocaching.com, and it becomes available for everyone to find. So that way, if I can fit maybe 15 or 20 in here, then um, that's 15 or 20 new caches in our area here. So, as a matter of fact, put a few in here that we just did just a quick, quick camouflage on. These are just soup containers. A whole bunch of tops here. Take one of these. I'll put log books in here. And whoever finds this box, more than welcome to take one of these. Two, three if they want. Go out and hide them and register it and the whole world can see it and we can all go after it so I think there's around eight here there's small ones there's a medium size and then I want to put some large ones in there as well so we're just getting started on putting these in. okay so I did want to show you the ammo job on this you can see it and basically we started with the dark color or the green color. We use the actual color that came with the box, the dark green. We didn't even put a base coat on it like we did the small box. So I'll tell you what, uh, then we went from uh, dark to light. That's what you want to do. You want to go from your darker colors to your lighter colors when you camouflage. And that's, that's the way I found the best to, uh, to do it. And you can do it any way you want, of course. Um, depending on where you live, you might want to go light to dark if you're in the desert. All right, so we'll go ahead and put this back up. We're going to grab our other box. So stay tuned. Okay, and we're back with our small ammo box, which has been painted uh, uh, olive green or drab green, and it's also been sanded down quite a bit. And, you know, made to smooth it out, get all the rough spots, any uh, rust off of it, or any pitted spots or so. Also, um, I wanted you to know here that we do not paint the inside of this. Um, the reasons being why is the rubber sealer on the top of these keeps this water out, keeps the water out. 
And that rubber seal there, if you put paint on it, I'm sure over time it would uh, probably eat away at it or degrade it uh, quite a bit. So if you're going to put anything, just put some silicone in there. Some silicone around, clean it real good, and then put some silicone around it, and that should keep it good to go. Alright, so we didn't paint the inside of the box here or the inside of the lid. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to take this outside and we're going to start doing some camouflage. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so we're back. In this case, what we like to do is like to put uh, some vegetation or something on top to use as a stencil. Of course, you can use your own stencils. You can draw and cut out your own stencils. Um, this is just a quick way we like to do it. That seems to work out pretty good. So... Once you get them or get your stencils or your your greenery arranged on your box or whatever it is you're painting, go ahead and take uh, take the black, go with the darkest color, and then go to the lightest. And what I like to do is make strips. I want to go in the same direction. So, for example, you go black, skip a little space, black, skip a little space, black. Just do strips, and then in between the strips, use the other other colors. So we'll start with this black. And I usually go pretty close to it also because it gets a better stencil that way and kind of holds the green area off. Short burst too. Short quick burst. If it falls off, no big deal. You could even take it and before it ever dries, you can set it right on another spot. Pick it up, pick it, put it right on another spot if you want to. Okay. Now what we're going to do is just throw some more vegetation on here. So, we're going to hit it with another color. Let's hit it with the brown. This time we'll just put the strips across. brown strips and you pull this right off no big deal if you don't think you've got enough you can always go back think you need some more black put it there think you need some more brown put it there Think you need another leaf? Put it here. Put that black again. Okay, so that's going to be the top of our box. Not too bad. Considering we're going to put it in the redwoods, that's what we're looking for. Okay, so we'll be back once we finish the other side of the box or we'll be back and we're back we're going to go with our black strips we got everything set lined up here our stencils our greenery stencils and go ahead and hit it with the black again we're going to do the strips this time go with our brown line our stencil back up no big deal Pull your stencils off. Looking at something like that so far. You 
Okay, so we're going to be go ahead and finish the rest of this box and then we'll be back to show you the finished product. Okay. For the other side of the box, do the same thing. What's happening here? This greenery is starting to stiffen up too with all these coats of paint on it. And uh, it'll work a little bit better for us as it should. Black again. Brown. Now, if you let it dry a little bit longer, you're going to get a better stencil off of it, of course. But for the purpose of the video, we'll go ahead and get it off here pretty quick. It's still not too bad, considering. And you can always come back oops, and hit it with a little bit more if you need to. If you make a mistake, you can always cover it up. Yeah, we're still going to come back with our tan, the light color. So this is what it's turning out to be so far. So decent consistency is what you want. Okay, it's the next day and our box is done. We let it dry overnight after we put the last coat on. We decided not to go with the tan because the We'll be putting in the redwood, so we want to stay a little dark. We want to stay dark color like this. But as you can see, it's done. Hopefully, you can get a good uh, angle or view of this. And it looks pretty good, actually. I think it should do the trick. So, very simple to do. You can use this, any type of stencil you'd like, depending on where you're going to be placing your box. You can uh, mix your colors up. Also, uh, this can be done to anything. Uh, motorcycle tanks, uh, uh, bicycles, guns, anything you want to camouflage. Camouflage is a, a fun thing to do and uh, keeps you out of trouble. Alright, so enjoy your day and check back for more videos.